Last Tuesday on the outskirts of Hong Kong a butcher was killed in a freak accident a pig which he had shot with an electric stun gun suddenly rose and charged knocking the butcher to the ground in the ensuing struggle between the man and the animal the animal won but livestock rarely behave like this and end up being slaughtered for food Globally over a million cows are slaughtered daily along with 4 million pigs 1.5 million lambs and 1.2 million goats Millions of farms around the world rear and kill these animals for meat. This process is also one of the largest sources of greenhouse gas emission, much more than the transportation sector. But a ray of hope is emerging from labs. Experts believe that we are on the cusp of a big change. The Food and Drug Administration of the United States cleared a lab-grown meat product developed by a California startup as safe for human consumption in November last year. And according to reports, cell-cultivated meats will be available in supermarkets and restaurants in the US in the next few months. Before the US, Singapore had given its assent to lab-grown meat in 2021, but experts believe that the US approval may turn the fortunes of this sector around and lead to large-scale adoption of lab-grown meat worldwide. A Dutch scientist had exhibited the first lab-grown meat burger on live television in 2013. Since then, over 60 companies are working to perfect this technology and bring down the cost at the same time. But how is this meat developed in labs? Under this process, muscle cells are taken from a buffalo, cow or a chicken, whichever meat you need. Just like doctors do a biopsy, these cells are then split into pieces and put into a bioreactor which is full of broth. This solution is also called growth medium which contains protein, vitamins, sugar, salt, etc. And that's it. Under the controlled temperature of labs, these cells start multiplying. Within a week, a large amount of meat is ready for your burger and kebabs. Tons of meat can be produced from just a few cells without killing the animal. Initially, its taste and texture wasn't like real meat, but over the years, scientists have bridged that gap too. While eateries selling soya chaat masala or soya kebabs, which are called plant-based meat, are a common sight now, it will be a while before eateries start selling products made of lab-grown meat. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.